to my channel it has been a very 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 long time but we are back of course i'm in my robe so clearly this was a get ready with me for this nice little quick easy makeup look um not too much not too little but yeah i'm really excited to be back thank you all so much if this is your first time joining welcome to the channel and of course do not forget to subscribe if this is not your first time welcome back i know it's been forever and it feels like your first time back but thanks for sticking it out with me um through i don't want to call it a hiatus because i really didn't think i was going to come back to um, my channel at all but here we are you know and we'll get into that a little bit later but yeah um i'm just gonna go ahead this is the finished look but we're just about to go ahead and jump right into the get ready with me you already know how this go we just about to Put on some makeup, kiki, and that's it. So let's get it right. I'm stuttering. This is how you know it's been a minute. I can't, I don't, like my intro. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, let's just jump right into it. I am headed out uh, to this show. Um, I saw an ad for it in TikTok. And I'm always just looking for stuff in DC to do. You know, that's like little activities and stuff like that. So I saw it. Um, it was a commercial for the ad for it on TikTok. And it's like a candlelight orchestra. So like it's a music hall and it's an orchestra like surrounded by like hundreds, thousands of like can like little teacup candles. And then they just perform all these different songs. So they have like Romeo and Juliet, Beyonce, like they have different theme nights and i'm going to jazz night because i am a culture girl i'm cultured so i like a little jazz and um you know i feel like i like jazz so much um because my dad was such a huge music head like i feel like black people we always have that common like you know you know you knew when you woke up on saturday morning you heard gospel it was time to clean the house but for me in my house it was like when we heard jazz or like whatever my dad you know his record or album was that he was listening to like that was kind of like our vibe like we was like bouncing through the house like that so um you know and as i got older you know he used to we used to like i remember we used to watch like different like pay-per-view concerts and stuff like that so you know that's like i feel like i'm such a big music buff because of my dad like that's that was like his thing and you know i used to always be up under my dad um so yeah that was really cute um it's gonna be a quick phase because i'm not i'm not even wearing lashes i'm gonna wear a big pair of frames so no lash just a quick regular face just to get me back on this whole get ready with me kick but i need some chapstick because i ain't gonna have no peasy lips now um But yeah, I'm excited. I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be really fun. I think it's gonna be really nice. I'll probably cry. I feel like music is the one thing that like I will absolutely cry listening to some music, and I do not care. I don't care because music should make you feel something. That's how I feel about music. Like music should, you know, stir up emotions and you know make you feel something. At least it do for me. I don't know. I feel like if music doesn't, like, if you don't feel anything, like, what? Like, huh? To me, it's like, bro, that's weird. Like, if you listen to certain music and you don't have no type of emotion, like, you're just emotionless. Like, music stirs up some type of emotion. It triggers some type of memory, you know? But, yeah, I'm really excited for tonight. I'm excited. I think it'll be really, really cute. I think it'll be cute. I think it'll be cute. I'm going to be cute. The event's going to be cute. It's like, you know, what are you going to do? I'm excited. It's a Thursday night. Like, why not? 
I hate, I really probably, I don't know. I hate that I have to go to work tomorrow, but it is what it is. I'm not about to like, Fridays are pretty low key anyway at work, so I'll be all right, but make sure I can still see. But yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I think it's gonna be a really cute night. Um, my outfit is very casual cute. I'm wearing like some leather shorts, a t-shirt, um, a little blazer slash jacket situation. And then my like booties that are like seven inches high. Because again, one of my favorite things to do is go somewhere in like my tallest shoe. It's like my favorite. That's my favorite. If I can go someplace and be like 6'6", six, 6'5", six, six, it's just something about it that I really enjoy. And I could definitely thank my mother for that because like I got my growth spurt really, really early. Like I've been 5'11", since about seventh grade. So um, yeah, you know, going through puberty and everything, it was like, oh my God, I used to hate my height I used to like be so I hated my height but my mom was always like do not slouch do not try to make yourself shorter do not try to make yourself smaller around other people for other people to be comfortable like you're tall so stand up straight and be tall like don't try to you know what I'm saying she really helped me kind of um embrace my height she was always like Baby, she did not play that slouch and mess. And like now I feel like, yeah, like my legs are my favorite body part of mine. Like I love my legs. I'm obsessed with my legs. I love being tall. I wouldn't want to be anything else. And it's so funny because most of the time when I go out like in my tallest heel, like, when I really am, like, 6'5", and, you know, playing these funny games, these funny reindeer games, um, usually, like, that's what really brings out the shorties, literally. I don't know, short men, I think, like, they low-key, like, see tall women as, like, a fetish. Like, as I've gotten taller, I really feel like short men... Or sometimes men in general just kind of fetishize tall women because it's like, I don't know why, but how it feels, right, is like we're like this accomplishment, like, you know what I'm saying? Like this big, this huge feat and like, oh, if I could get the the girl that's 6'6", six, six, it's like, bro, you know, like, I don't know, maybe that's just like my experience. I feel like it's just like. I don't know. They just make it a thing. Like, it's not a thing to anybody but you. Why are you making my height a thing? It's not a thing to me. Like, why are you making it a thing? It's like they have to, like, go above and beyond. They feel like they have to go, like, above and beyond to get your attention. And, like, they end up doing the absolute most, which usually is just like, bro, like, calm down. I don't know. And it's only the the short guys. Like, I feel like guys of um, like guys my height and taller don't act like that. It's always the guys that are shorter than me that just act ridiculous. Like, bro, you don't like you don't have to, you don't have anything to prove. It's perfectly fine. You don't got nothing to prove, especially to me. Like, who am I? You don't have nothing to prove to me. Like, just be yourself. That that's enough. I I feel like I I end up telling a lot of guys that I'd be like, be yourself. If you're annoying, it's not gonna matter if you're six eight. Well, it doesn't matter if you're five eight, but it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're six eight. If you're like boring, it does not matter. But yeah, I'm not. I've given short guys a fair chance. Even though I know nobody's going to believe this, but I've definitely um, 
I don't even want to say I dated him, but I talked to this guy that was shorter than me. And um, by accident, because when I met him, um, I met him at like a bar. And we were sitting down and I just, I don't know, it's like one of those things where it's just like, it just, we just sat, we had a conversation. And when I walked away, like I, you know, like I walked away and that was that. Um, so then like when we met up, I was like, oh, you're short. He was maybe like five, eight, maybe five, eight. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm five, 11 barefoot. He was maybe like five, eight. Um, so I was like, okay, but you know, he was really nice. He was funny. Um, we had good conversation, you know, like he was nice to be around. So I was like, you know what? What like let's give it a shot, you know? And that didn't turn out too good. That's another story for another day. Cause that <laughs> Oh my god, that's such that was like the weirdest. Oh my god. It's like, you know how you like, um, you know, how, like I always say I want to date somebody who's at least the same height as me. Like you need to be at least 5'11". Like that's my preference. I want somebody at least the same height as me. And I feel like when you go against like your preference and then it bites you in the ass harder than if you would have just gone out with your preference, that's always so crazy to me. Like that situation was so weird like then i had this other guy that i was um talking to and he wasn't that attractive like again met him out in the club and then i got his instagram and i was like he's not that cute but again i was like well you know jante don't be that girl like don't be shallow you know what i'm saying because you know, be, you know, find somebody who just like to be around that has like substance, blah, blah, blah. That got weird. <laughs> so I'm like, bro, like, I'm talking to these guys that are shorter than me, terrible, that aren't really that cute, terrible. It's like, bro, like, You just gotta go. You just gotta go with what you know. Just go with what you know because that was um, that was quite interesting. That was quite interesting, especially the um, the guy who was shorter than me. I just think he um, um, how would I say this? I I feel that um, he kind of had like this expectation of me like he built me up to this thing in his head and then i'm just like bro i'm just regular like i'm just like i'm regular like you don't have to like just be normal but um the guy who wasn't that cute he was like really like bro you're trying it like you really you're trying it like the short guy was still really sweet. It's just, he was just very, I feel he was intimidated by me or like, I don't know. He just was very nervous around me and um, it just made it uncomfortable for both of us, right? Because I don't know why you're nervous and you're just being really nervous and like it just made it just was making the it was just making things uncomfortable really to be honest like there's no other way to describe it it was just making things very uncomfortable but um yeah 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 so i guess now i have to be shallow and only date people that are 511 because the latter really did not work in my favor I'm about to break something for sure. One of these days. Anywho. So 
so I guess that just like yeah dating in DC has not been very fun I take that back I don't even really think I have I don't even consider like I wouldn't even say that I've dated in DC right like I don't I don't really I wouldn't like if somebody said how long have you been dating in DC I would literally say I haven't like I haven't what is dating I haven't dated it's just yeah I don't know I don't know I've had run-ins I've had run-ins and like that kind of thing but I don't think I've like dated I've talked to people and yeah had run-ins and encounters <laughs> but yeah I don't really even think that I've like dated it's just been so weird it may be I will say I was like super closed off like I wasn't even like on that type of time at all so maybe I'm thinking that you know my energy just wasn't aligned with that so I'm not gonna receive something that I'm not open and receptive to so I definitely think that was a factor but yeah I um yeah, I don't think, I think I'm ready to, like, start dating and seeing what the city has for the kid. Like, what's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? Gotta take a chance. Gotta do something. Like, who wants to sit in the house forever and be alone and not have anyone to share things with and have experiences with who doesn't want a family well I take that back some people don't want that right but I you know definitely want my person and somebody that I can have you know just share life with kind of well not kind of but yeah just share life with and grow with you know have a family get married all that which I know everybody doesn't want that, and that's perfectly fine. But I do. Like, I want a family, and I don't want the house with the white picket fence, but I just, yeah, I just want somebody to share life with, to experience life with. That's what I want. So, yeah. This is like, when I'm just trying to do a quick face, this is definitely my go-to. Like, I don't really, I just try to keep it as basic as possible. All like the add-ons and the extras, I try to keep that to a minimum because I got to go out the door. And you know what I really don't like? I hate this whole beauty community, get ready with me narrative where it's like, I have to be somewhere in 13 minutes, get ready with me. And then the person proceeds to do hair, makeup, and get dressed. But you have to be somewhere in 13 minutes or you have to be out the door in 13 minutes. <clears throat> Excuse me. To me, that's so unrealistic. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. As soon as I see those videos, I scroll because that's not for me. Like, I like to, I hate being rushed. I hate being rushed. And if I am rushed, if I am running late, if I don't have time to put makeup on, trust and believe I'm popping in my contacts. I'm throwing on a big pair of frames. And I'm going out the door. Good moisturizer. And I'm going out the door. Like, there's no way you have to be out the house in 20 minutes and you proceed to do a three-step get ready with me. I don't like that. Because that to me is just, like, nothing about that to me seems realistic. Like, they're like, oh, 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 yeah, highlighter. Oh, 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 ah, uh, concealer. Oh. Like, what are you doing? Like, what, what are we really doing? You, like... Like what, what 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 are we doing? Nobody puts on makeup like that. If you if you do makeup, the last thing you want to do while doing your makeup is rush your makeup. Who in their right mind wants to rush makeup? You want to rush a blend? You want to rush balancing out the product? You want to rush a lash, glue, eyeliner? You want to rush a contour? Look how I'm letting my concealer sit. You want to rush that? Baby, it's a process. There's nothing about makeup that is rushed. And I just don't, I don't recognize that niche. I don't, I don't like it. And as soon as I see it, 
next because I, I don't need to watch this I that's not mm -mm. I don't like scary movies I don't I don't like videos like that to me that's a horror film that's a a a, a, a short story horror film yeah I don't know it's gonna be a no for me every single time like literally every single time I see that skip 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 because as soon as to me as soon as like social media is already not real right so when you take the little bit of reality out of social media <laughs> away with you away with you because you're wasting my time you're wasting your time and i don't have the time it's gonna be a no for me every single time like disrespectfully it's going to be a no because that's not believable i don't believe you sarah marianne whatever i don't believe you i don't believe you i need to wash my sponges yeah i don't believe i don't believe that why do you even want to put on a full face of makeup in 15 minutes My eyebrow, y'all, y'all just saw how long it took for my eyebrows. Who, who about the rush? Who? Huh? Rush your mother. <laughs> and her, and her shaking go weed. Don't, don't rush me. Don't rush me. And I am like punctual patty. So I'm the type of person, if I know it's going to take me a minute to get ready, I'm going to get ready sooner. Like I work backwards. Okay. I want to leave the house at six. I want to give myself two hours to do my makeup. I'm doing like full beat. Okay, this is like full beat, right? Okay, expectation. I want to leave the house at six. I want to do a full beat. I want to do a nice fit. And I want to do something with my hair. Don't look at my hair right now. But you get the reference, right? Okay. I want to leave the house at six. Two hours for makeup. Four. Let's say... 30 minutes to go through my closet. I already have an idea of what I want to wear, but I just got to, you know, pull things from my closet, put it on, make sure it fits right. Let's give myself 30 minutes for that, right? Okay, that puts us at 3.30. Then let's say an hour for hair. It's probably not going to take an hour, but I, I always like to like, um, what's it called? Over, under promise, over deliver. Yeah, yeah, under promise, over deliver, right? So let's say I give myself an hour. That's two o'clock. So if I want to leave the door, leave out the door at six, and let's not even get to the fact that I want to take a, a few selfies before I go too, right? Okay, cool. We're looking at about one thirty, two o'clock, and I will set an alarm, like alarm for one o'clock to, because usually what I like to do is pack my purse before I even get ready. So like. If I'm rushing at the end, my bag is already packed. Like, my purse is already done, right? So, 1 o'clock, I'll start getting myself together, pulling my stuff out, getting, you know, everything. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. Jump, you know, take my shower. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Then, my next alarm is going to be at 5. Because when I hear that 5 o'clock alarm, I'm like, okay, I have an hour. And then that I can gauge, like, where I am with getting ready. Like, if that 5 o'clock alarm goes off and I'm already doing my lashes, I'm like, oh, good, girl, you are early. You are ahead of the ball. But if I hear that 5 o'clock alarm go off and I'm still fix it, like, running around with the curlers and still trying to fix my hair and figure out what I'm going to wear, that's when I need to reel it in because I also get distracted very easy. So, like, oh, my God, get ready. I have to leave in 20 minutes. Y'all, miss me miss me like i really i don't know who started that and why everybody like jumped on the bandwagon but i'm just like y'all are liars because i don't know who in a right mind wants to rush makeup like to me that's like the most idiotic thing i've ever heard in my entire life ever you may do your makeup fast because you know you have your steps down you have your routine now like you know like you've done this a thousand times but speed and rushed two different things two different things and y'all are not gonna sit on beyonce's internet and tell me that y'all are putting makeup on in 20 minutes <sighs> save the lies for a dummy not for me 
not for me. You won't get me because I know better and I do better. And that's why I scroll right the hell past it. Liars. I do always like to go in with a little more concealer, like right on the inner eye with a smaller smosh. Something like this. Now, I am wearing frames today, but I still like to do under eye because I don't know. I feel like I don't know. I really don't know why. I started that thinking I was going to going to go into an explanation, but then like I really don't have one. I just do. That's the explanation. I just do. Okay, what's next? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. I'm in the process of redecorating my apartment. Um, I plan on moving in July anyway, but while I'm still here, I am um, going through the process of like redecorating my apartment. I want to get a new couch. I want um, to change my vanity room that I'm in currently just because like a lot of stuff for my business is in here, which, you know, cute, but I just want this like I want my second bedroom to be like where I get ready so I just want to take the futon out of here move in a different couch in here um replace the living room couch um re replace my little bar area thing that I have in the living room switch out my bookcases um and then in here I also want to change like my desk situation out there for work. And then in here, um, I only want like my actual inventory to be in here, but I just want it to be like in a smaller space. Like right now it's like all oh, this is like urban. Like I just have boxes, like not boxes, but like storage just stacked and I don't want that. So I want um, this back, I want this futon gone, the back wall to be like inventory. And then I want this whole area to be like the corner where I can like get ready with me. So my vanity right here, couch right here, maybe like a big mirror, maybe like a cute little rug. And then I could just do everything in here because changing, like taking my ring light in like different rooms is just such a headache. It's like... It's, it's just getting aggravating and I just want it to be nice and cute and then I just want my new furniture and stuff already here so that way when I move it's just like one less thing like it's our I'm not like moving into my new spot and then trying to get new furniture and then unpacking like that's gonna be a lot so I'm gonna just start the redecorating now get rid of get getting rid of the old stuff now and then getting my new stuff now and then when I move, it's really just like picking this up and putting it in a new space. But it's not like trying to move and redecorate at the same time. Because I feel like that would, give a head, that would give me a headache. So I'm really excited. I think it's going to be super cute. The couch I picked out is like a blue, blue. Like when I say blue, the couch I have now is blue. And I really like that. I like, uh, you know, color furniture. But it's like a, it's not as bright of a blue that I'm getting to replace it, which I'm really, 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 really excited about. It's super cute and it's bigger. It's a bigger sectional. Well, it's actually a sectional. The couch I have now is like two pieces, but this is like an actual sectional and it's really cute. I can't wait to get it. I got it off of Amazon. Really good reviews, really good like videos of it. I really... I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Oh, 
hopefully it'll be here pretty soon like it was real crazy because i don't know i feel like sometimes furniture takes forever to like ship and mail and stuff like that but this one i think it'll be here in like two weeks so i'm really excited and i'm not gonna get rid of the furniture i have until i get that because of course i have to like put it together um but once it's here then i have um this service come and pick up my old furniture take that out and then i'll put the new sectional together but i think it'll be really cute not i think it will be really cute i think i'm gonna do a red lip tonight because i'm in all black which is not unusual for the kid. But I think um I think I'm being a red lip all weekend because I'm going to a party tomorrow. And I'm definitely wearing a red lip tomorrow for sure. That outfit is gonna be really cute. Oh, I'm just dropping stuff left and right. Uh -uh. What do I have to do next? What do I do next? Oh yeah. I think, and I hate to like put stuff on myself, but I think I have like ADHD or something. Like I be losing focus and like concentration so fast. And like me and my cousin were talking about it. Like I get so distracted and a part of me feels like I'm studying for my, um, certification and project management a part of me feels like studying for that non-stop while still working my job I feel like my brain is just like at capacity and like it just can't it's like in the red like you know how like you wait three years to get an oil change and your car is like girl like that's how I feel like I just feel like I'm in the red like my brain is just being overworked. It's like the little stuff. Like I'll be forgetting literally everything. Like literally, I'll be like, did I eat breakfast? Did I eat today? Did I do this? I have so many reminders set on my phone. I literally have reminder to eat. I have reminders to eat. I have reminders to drink water. I have reminders for everything. Cause I just feel like, like my mind is just like so consumed with a thousand other things. It's like, bro. I'm forgetting to do stuff that, like, what the world. But what can you do? I'm so nervous about this freaking certification test because I have never studied for anything in my life. I know that may sound like I'm lying, whatever. I have never studied. Never studied for a test in high school. Never studied for a test in college. Never studied for SAT, ACT. Never studied. I just like, I I was like, either I know it or I don't. And I was that person. I was at every class. I was taking every note. I was listening to every lecture. I was asking every single question. So I really never felt the need to go home and study because I felt like what I need to study for, I know it. Like I left the class knowing it. So what do I need to go home and study for? And yeah, now I'm a grown ass adult and I am learning to study or having to study for the first time in my life. And it is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> it is very stressful. And now I understand why people were so stressed out in college. I'm like, yo, y'all was dealing with this at like 19, 20 years old. How were y'all doing this at 19, 20 years old? The stress of studying is insane. I would have been buckling at the knees. I'm buckling at the knees now trying to study for this certification. Y'all was studying for, what, how many classes you taking a semester? Maybe like five or six? Y'all were doing this for like five or six different subjects? Uh-uh, baby. This is breaking me down. And I am smart, <laughs> you know, 
but studying is just it's yeah i never had to do it so now having to do it as an adult like grown the girl is going through it baby okay and i'm doing my best and i am gonna get through this and i'll be fine but it's just like it's stressful it's very very stressful but I will get through it and I'm going to pass that test the first time. I'm not taking it again. I'm not taking it two, three, four times. No, 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 no. I am passing that test on the first time. Why? Because I'm not paying for it but one time. And my job reimburses me once I pass it. So I'm trying to be one and done because don't nobody got time for that. Don't nobody got Excuse me, I'm so gassy and burpy. Don't nobody got time for that. <clears throat> oh, that felt great. Gonna do a little blush because, you know, why not? I'm really learning to come into, like, my blush era. I used to, like, not be a blush girl. But now, you know, hit me with a little blush, you know, give me a little rosy cheek situation. And I do bring my blush like all the way up. I blush, I put blush like almost where my contour goes. So it's like all the way up. I don't put a lot though. You probably can't even see it. Not too much, not too much. But I do like a little blush situation. Uh, 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 where is my, where's my, this time I got too many brushes. Oh, there it go. All the way in the back. Like, who told you to get rid of I need you in the forefront so I can find your man, you know? I'm really glad to bring, I'm really happy to bring my channel back. Um, yeah, I'm happy to bring my channel back. I'm excited. I think it's going to be really cute. It's been like a long time coming. Um, my friend Mike um, passed away last year. Um, one of the last conversations we had he was like, uh, he was a musician, he made music, um, and he was telling me, you know, we had a conversation, and he was like, you know, it's just so crazy because I haven't put, I haven't recorded new music in so long. Um, like, he played instruments, too, and he was just like, I haven't recorded something new in so long. And I was like, well, you know, you, 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 know, you should go back in the studio. Like, you should get back in the studio. You should record something. Like, he was in charlotte and they would like be playing his songs in the club you know what i'm saying so i was like you absolutely should you know get back in the studio put out another project you know you should do that and at the time i had like stopped my youtube because i just felt like i was doing a lot of um makeup looks that i felt were trendy or i saw a lot of other larger platforms doing and i was like oh well this is the you know these are the looks i need to create to you know gain subscribers and you know a bigger following and blah 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 but it just didn't feel authentic it didn't feel genuine i did i feel like i didn't recognize myself in my channel right because i'm doing these looks that i really wouldn't like wear myself right i'm just doing what i think other people would like or what like you know like trendy viral looks but it's not like john tay so i stopped like it just yeah i just I, it was just i was just not feeling it so i stopped um yeah i stopped my youtube and i just you know it it was what it was like i i would didn't feel bad about it i didn't miss it like because again it just it wasn't me and um you know we were having our conversation and he was like you know john tay i think you should bring your youtube back and I would just tell him, like, eh, you know, nobody was really watching it. It just wasn't, 
I guess like I wasn't getting the results that I was looking for, you know, because I just, the channel just wasn't me. And, um, you know, he was like, well, you know, just bring it back and just, you know, do it, you know, do it the way you want to do it. And I was like, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll think about it, blah, blah, blah. And he was just like, well, let's do this. He was like, I'll promise to get back in the studio and put some new music out if you promise to bring your YouTube back. He was like, you know, your makeup looks, he's like, your makeup is always fire. Like, you should absolutely do it. He was like, so I promise to get back in the studio. You know, you promise to um, bring your YouTube back. And I was like, okay. I promise. And I mean, I don't even know how long. It wasn't that long at all. Um, I got the call that he passed away. Um, um, yeah, so I don't want to cry. But yeah, it was just, it was just sudden and it was sad. And um, yeah, so, you know, after he passed and, you know, I went through that whole thing and, um, you know, I was like, you know, I do want to bring my channel back and I just wanted to make sure that when I came back with the channel that it really was like me being my authentic self right so I want to do like the get ready with me's with actual makeup that I'm wearing out um you know solo adventures of like me doing stuff in the city which I'm you know low-key already doing on my Instagram and stuff like that but you know just me doing my story times and just me being myself like my personality things that I like things that I have experienced things that are going on with me and just being my true authentic self just on on a different platform because I feel like when I wasn't doing like I didn't recognize myself in the YouTube and then it wasn't successful so it was just like what am I even doing this for right but I feel like now I want to do the channel and I want the channel to be a reflection of who I really am and how I really am and um, I, I want to recognize myself within my channel because I feel like if if I'm just being myself and being genuine and, and, you know, being transparent and being vulnerable and being honest, um, everything that comes to it will be a reflection of that. Everything that comes to it, I will have um, people who are genuinely interested or genuinely enjoy the content that I put out I'll I'll attract people who um like who, who really are like a family right it's not these random people who follow you with this expectation now you have to keep up this um facade and it's not even who you are right like it's easy for me to be myself it's hard for me to be something else so I feel like doing it this time it you know if nobody watches it, okay, cool, that's fine. The people that are supposed to join and, you know, subscribe and tune in and it, it'll it'll be the people who are meant to, to be because it, it's me being my authentic self. So that's the energy that I'm going to get back, right? So I think that's the difference. And it's not going to be like I'm doing things for attention or I'm doing things four views, four follows. I'm just, I'm just being myself. I'm just literally being myself. Things that I was going to do anyway, things that I'm already doing, like I'm just showing it, right? So I think that's what I'm really excited about. And it is weird and it's, it's different. Um, just because I'm like, ugh, you know, I have to filter myself a little bit because I am <laughs> a lot. <laughs> To be honest, I'm a lot and I know I am, but I know I have to filter myself. I can't, I know with this, like, I'll have to think before I speak. I'll have to watch my language. I won't be able, you know, I, I don't want to be on here, like, being super inappropriate and cursing. You know, like, I am funny and I, I, I do curse. I'm not this image of perfection, but I don't want to get on here, like, super reckless. I feel like 
I can have a little bit of filter, almost like professional. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm myself at work, but I'm not like cussing and acting a fool, but I am myself. So I think that's kind of how it'll be. Of course, like, you know, when I'm out with my friends, I'm still like, they're, they're going to get raw and uncut as they have been getting. But you know what I'm saying? I'm just not going to be on here cursing crazy and talking crazy and doing all that good stuff. I, but I'm still going to be myself. But anyway, that's that. Um, but yeah, so you know, long live the show. Shout out to my friend Mike, Mike Sims. I miss you so much. I know you are in heaven, child, with that shirt unbuttoned, with that chest out, singing and playing that guitar. I do miss Mike. I miss my friend. I miss my friend, man. Life is so short. Life is very short. But I miss my friend. Give a shout out to him. Now we're going to get into the lip. I love a good red lip. That's like my thing. And I'm using a brown liner. Usually I go in with my red lip with Night Moth. But I just want this to be a little darker. So I'm going in with Chestnut instead of... Night Moth is more purple. Chestnut is brown. It's the brown, but it's it's brown. And as a black girl, chestnut, it, it gets no better. This is like the brown lip liner of all the brown lip liners. If you know, you know. I feel like with MAC Cosmetics, between Studio Fix, their Studio Fix Powder Foundation, Gold Deposit highlighter and their lip liners and lipsticks they'll never go out of business like i still have ruby woo hold on i still have my mac lipsticks baby okay y'all girls who act like y'all to outgrew mac not me hold on can you see it not me let's see what we got um spirit that's a good one sin um, I look so crazy because my lips are done. Anyway, Persistence is one of my favorite browns. Nice nude. <laughs> Ruby Woo. <laughs> Let me play. Okay. And baby, she's been used. Don't play with Ruby Woo. Do not play with Ruby Woo. Do not play with her. Velvet Teddy. Velvet Teddy is another one that had me in a chokehold. Still does. Photo is a really, really good brown. One of my favorite browns. This is a good brown with a nice check with the chestnut liner. And then Snob. Snob is that girl too. But yes, like I'm still in this chokehold of MAC Cosmetics. Not as bad. Like I'm out of heroin. But like, yes, child. Okay. The black girls know the era when MAC Cosmetics had us in a chokehold. Oh, and I have lip glass, like the best clear. Don't play with MAC. Okay. The girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, <laughs> you was never a part of us anyway. Okay. You don't even got to worry about it. I hate like that little part in the inside of the lip. There we go. One thing about me, I'm going to put that red lip on. It's so weird to not put a lash on, but I'm wearing frames, so it's like really no point, but... <laughs> I feel like I keep looking at myself like something's missing and it's the fact that I don't have lashes on, but no lash today, Jonte. No lash. That's my favorite part. Mm. That's my favorite part. I need to go. I always like wash my hands like crazy. I don't want no makeup under my nails. None of that. Anyway, I'm about to go undo my hair and I'll be back with the finished look. 
Okay, so here's the final look. My hair is out and insanely big. Um, but yeah, this is the look. I'm really excited for tonight. Um, I still have to do my get ready with me with like my outfit. So this is literally just the makeup and the hair. Um, but I'll have like another video with um the get ready with me. I don't know if I'll add it to this one or have it separate. I don't know, but the get ready with me, still gonna do that. But this is basically the look. This is just like my little quick go-to look when I'm not doing too much. It's just quick and easy. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for tonight. And um, I think that's it. I'm glad to be back. I think it'll be, this is like, you know, a breath of fresh air. This is my rebirth, my rebrand, my refresh of my YouTube. So definitely um, for everybody who's stuck it out with me during the drought when I left, thank you so much um to you know everyone new to my channel welcome and thank you and yeah this is the beginning to something very very nice so i hope you all stick it out with me and just you know go on this ride go on this journey with me and that's about it thank you so so much for tuning in do not forget to like comment subscribe share follow me on my social media handles everything is the same the kid in the city same on instagram tiktok and youtube so follow me what of course i'll have my pictures and other videos and stuff but that's about it thank you so so much for tuning in you could have been anywhere in the world but you chose to be here with the kid and for that i thank you until next time bye <music>